Greetings and welcome back to Grounded. So let's go ahead and, well, let's finish off that uh, acorn bit. Oh. Though we're probably going to end up getting more. Brussels sprouts. And eat a gnat. And we need some water. There's usually some down here. There it is. No water filtration tablets needed. And I'll just go ahead and eat that off the ground. Top off my food. Still a few gnats sticking around here. Um, we'll worry about them later. Do I have any inventory to stash? I do. Let's put my gnat fuzz up. This will also give more time for the uh, spiders to make sure they get back where they need to be. Oh! I need more plant fiber. Because I want to make three more spears for hunting um, a stink bug. Now if you kill the gnats without anything underneath them, they fall down, they'll tend to roll all the way down here. If they spend too long in the water, their loot is ruined. Uh, and ones on this side will tend to roll down this way. Um, they can be a pain in the ass to track down. It's a little bit easier when you're killing them with a bow, because after a period of time, icons will show up for your arrows. Um, after your arrows dislodge from them. Now, spears. We need three more spears. I need sprigs. What do you know? I'm near some sprigs. There's a few sprigs. Alright. There. I've got all three of the extra pebblet spears I wanted. Wow, I've never seen what the front of the box looks like before. Lemon Crime. Huh, catchy name. Top off with some juice. And go over here to get a stink bug. Because we need to kill a stink bug to make the gas mask. Now the first stink bug is usually a pain in the butt because the gas does a lot of damage. I recommend bringing a lot of food for heals. I probably didn't bring enough. We'll see. Taking a look. Where are you hiding, stink bug? Something big moving right there. There he is. Alright. So the stink bug. Is an aggressive mob. It's weak to stabbing. Invasive species found hanging around in the area south and west of the oak hill. As well as the flower bed. Watch out for toxic clouds. Can drop the stink bug gas sack. And stink bug part. Now he has three attack patterns. Uh, one is where he will lunge at you and let out a gas stack, sack, uh, cloud, so you need to run. Another one is he will raise his tail up and then put gas all around the area. Another time where you need to run if you don't have a gas mask. The third attack, which is the attack I like to get him caught in, is when he's close, he will dance around a little bit before biting at you. And the timing on that can be a little iffy uh, until you get used to it. All right, I think that's high enough. Gotcha. Are you stuck? Well, that's no fun. I'm gonna have to wait for the gas to go away so I can go up and get my other spears. Here, have a rock. Thank you. I'll just throw my hammer. That stunned him. Overshot him. 
Undershot him. Got him that time. This should kill him. Nope, not quite. All right, have an axe. There. So that was a little cheesy because he got stuck. I really don't like it when they get stuck on the geometry. I prefer it when I actually have to fight these things. But, you know, what happens, happens. All right, put that up. Let's get my weapons back. There's all of my spears. But yeah, the spears are really powerful early on uh, until you get some better range weapons. Um, and like I said, they're cheap to craft. Uh, that is really flying. They're cheap to craft, so if you lose them, no big deal. Um, and uh, they do decent damage without you having to bother to upgrade them. All right, now one thing I need to do is make sure I got some more clover. Because I'm going to need to build uh, another basket. When I get over here to the water. One more weevil, and I've got my uh, quest for weevils done. And there should be some... Uh... Get closer. Alright, jump in. There we go. Discovered Soda Drop. Now the Soda Drop actually does very little thirst and very little hunger. It does a little bit of both. Um... Though I think that the tooltip for it is wrong. Old and sticky, but still moderately restores your thirst. No, it doesn't moderately restore your thirst. Uh, mysterious part of that creates all of the dangerous and foul-smelling gas of the stink bug. Yeah, that doesn't moderately restore your thirst. It does a, a slight thirst uh, restoration. Here we have the milk molars. You have to get up to where you have the tier 2 hammer to be able to bust them. They are calcium chewables, and when you break them open and get the pulp uh, out of it, you get uh, boosts, or unlock the ability to get boosts. Right, where are the mushrooms? Right around this root, I think. There they are. Alright, completed that quest. Now I like to set up a little outpost right behind this water can. Just in case I'm stuck out here at night when I've been in the water, I have a place where I can sleep to um, progress it today and kind of hide from the spy wolf spiders. And also gives me a place to set up storage uh, for when I am um, hitting the water. Actually, let's put the trail marker here. I need more plant fiber. And we're going to need a lean-to and a roasting spit. I need more peblets. We're going to set our respawn point. So I need sprigs, peblets, and plant fiber. Um, let's go grab some. Need a lot of plant fiber because I need rope. Thought I saw a peblet. Well, I know there's a pebble around up this way. A couple of them actually.
seven peblets should do it, but I'll go ahead and get this one too. Those will respawn eventually. I think I still need more uh, plant fiber. Yeah, I need a lot more plant fiber. I need to get close to 20 plant fiber, actually. You gotta kinda remain aware of your surroundings while you're going around doing these things. Especially at time of day. <coughs> Otherwise, you can be walking up looking at something and end up uh, running afoul of a wolf spider that you weren't aware was up and running around. So we need three rope. Now let's stash some stuff. I don't need all of these spears while I'm underwater. Um, matter of fact, let's put up the pebbles too. Now spears should be back on slot one. All right. Uh, let's actually leave the pebble hammer and the axe. Um, I guess I need to unequip the axe. Let's just leave most of this stuff. Um, we're not going to leave the weevil meat because that will attract uh, ants over here. There we go. Cleared up some inventory space. Um, let us go hunt tadpoles. As you see, there's quite a few of them. Now, that you have to watch out for. That is a koi fish. And it will one-shot you. You cannot really fight it. Tadpoles are all pretty far from the edge, unfortunately. Well, I can collect a few things over here. Get about five algae. This will only stack to five because it's considered as consumable. And let's grab some lily pad wax and air. All right, the koi fish isn't really moving much. I wonder if he's stuck. Diving bell spiders. Don't want to deal with them right now. And a water boatman. Damn it. There we go. I do want to kill him. Oh crap. Almost ran into the diving bell spider. Oh, you're stuck. You're stuck. Now, killing water boatmen and diving bell spiders will refill your air meter. Both of them have bubbles of air. I hear another water boatman. But I'd rather find tadpoles right now. There's another spider down below me. Let's just go over here and get this tadpole. There's usually some down here at this hatch. Where'd the other one go? There you are. Come here. Uh -oh. 
One more. Oh, there's a diving bell spider. I can probably take the diving bell spiders, but I'd just rather not mess with them right now. There's my last tadpole. Now this is opening for me, yes. Need the assistant manager's key card to progress further in here. Brittle marble shards. Raw science. Alright, this is what I was talking about. Some of these will give you hints to locations. There's a treasure chest. There's the key. Uh, and it gives you little hints to the locations, like those three. I think those are the spore fungus. That's a mushroom. I'm not sure what that is. Looks like he was setting up a phone system, trying to communicate with different plants. But the key appears to be a certain direction away from the chest compared to like those spore fungus. But this is as far as we can go in this lab right now, so let's get out of here. Out of the way, Tadpole. It's getting pretty late in the day already. And I probably should have checked to see where the hell the uh, koi fish was. Oh, more water boatmen. Water boatmen, you need their fins, so I don't mind killing them. Plus, they're another harmless creature, not one that's going to uh, come back and bite me for doing this. There's the koi. There's some science and stuff up there. I'd have to go up this log to get to it. I should have probably brought uh, the materials I need to set up a small outpost over here. Because we have another field station. Don't see any collectibles or food stashed at this one. Oh, I can use the resource surveyor here. I mean the uh, resource analyzer to get the algae. <laughs> Decoy bait and green machine. The lily pad wax. Fin flops, peblet dagger, and slime lantern. And the water boatman fins. Fluid flippers. I did not bring an axe, but I can get these with the spear.
Oh, almost made it. Let's try from up here. Oh, I fell off. Almost. I need to shoot a little further to the left, I think, like over here. Yeah. Now this is another good spot for a base. It's just a little out of the way. Um, but very little can attack you here. Uh, Land-based creatures cannot harass you. Mosquitoes will have a hard time getting in. I hear another science. There it is. Alright, now we need to make our way back over to our other base. I'm not sure where the koi fish is. It's still over there. It appears to be stuck. Now the way up over here, we can either go to these rocks or to that branch. I think I'm going to go for these rocks. It's always a good idea to run out your stamina whenever you can. The more you exhaust yourself, the closer you get to unlocking a stamina-based mutation. Alright, we need to grab our stuff back. Actually, just take everything. Alright, I couldn't carry all the spears. That's fine. Alright, let's leave the peblets. That gives me enough to get the spears. That's stuff I can easily get elsewhere. It's getting dark. I spy. But I believe we can make it back to our base. And I'll show you what I mean by this is not moderately increase your thirst. Yeah, I, three sips on that and I didn't get barely any uh, thirst. <laughs> Alright, good. We made it to a uh, route we could get up on, just in case the uh, wolf spiders are traversing around. <sighs> Quickly pass through the dangerous area. And before we sleep, I need to craft the mask. I did not move the uh, crafting station over here. Damn it. Oh well. We'll have to do that in the morning. <clears throat> okay. And I should have stashed some inventory. Because I need grub hides to make the uh, shield. Wolf spider senses me nearby. Yeah, let's stash the webs, the marble shards, this plant stuff. That ought to work. Alright, he's going back to bed. Means there's potentially one more still wandering around right now. Oh, I needed to grab grubs. And I don't have the acorn shovel. Hey, Fids. Nature's lollipops. So I need a rope and an acorn shell and sprigs. We also unlocked <clears throat> the peblet dagger. Handy tool for harvesting aquatic flora and for defending oneself against underwater fauna. Uh, underwater, you can only use underwater weapons or the spear. Uh, slime lantern. Lantern made from hydrophobic materials and slime mold. Useful for exploring the murky depths. 
This is a better underwater lantern. Decoy bait. Bundle of bait made from tadpole meat used as a distraction for larger predators. This is how you keep the koi fish away from you. Um, we got the fin flops fashioned out of boatman fins and hydrodynamic materials. These inelegant flippers significantly improve swimming ability. Green machine, delicious bin, blend of locally sourced greens, boost your stamina recovery rate. Fluid flippers, drinkable sludge that is significantly proven to make you swim faster. And we have access to water flea meat, large chunk of old water flea, seems edible but could probably be used for something else. A fin harvested from the wing cover of a water boatman, broad, flat, possibly edible. Lily pad wax, nodule of wax collected from a flowering lily pad, can be used as a strong waterproof bonding material. Eelgrass strand, hydrophobic strip useful for binding things used in water, cut from a tall wispy eelgrass weed reaching up from the bottom of the pond. Algae, a squishy strip of edible aquatic plant restores small amount of hunger. And raw tadpole meat. Juicy chunk from a tadpole that will make you sick if eaten raw, but can be cooked. And I'm thirsty. Choke it down, Pete. I think I only needed the one. Uh, we do need water, so let's go grab that real quick. Don't even need to boil it. Now, to make the acorn shovel, I still need sprigs. Come back here. Thank you. Alright, so now we can make the acorn shovel. And let's actually head this way with the acorn shovel. Because there are grubs over here. Yeah, you can see him trailing right there. Ah! Taking a look. Got one. I can hear another one. There he is. Here another one. There you are. All right, inventory is full. Uh, did I leave a grub meat behind? Doesn't look like it. So nothing to come back and get. So we are going to head over here and make our gas mask, and then pick up three new quests. as soon as I start heading the correct direction. Got to kind of be careful on this section of the trail. There are hard, uh, dangerous creatures that roam around here. Top off with a few mushrooms. No new recipes. It would have given me the... Uh, decoy bait. Grub hide should give me the grub armor if I haven't got it already. Nope, I've already got it. Insect hammer, stuff stink bug, and repair glue. And we're one away. We got two more things to do. The sludge and the stink bug gas sack. And uh, one of those will give us the next brain power unlock. Now, the insect hammer is the tier 2 hammer. It's a capable hammer made of durable bug parts that are much stronger than the peblet hammer. I'll need a boiling gland and berry leather to be able to make it. Uh, the stuffed stink bug is a stuffed recreation of a stink bug. And we got boiling gland, I think, to show up. No, bee fuzz. High quality fuzz in iconic black and yellow colors. 
and the raw grub meat, raw goopy meat from a grub worm. Don't eat it without some kind of preparation. Now let's go ahead and make our gas mask. We need two more gnat fuzz and two crude rope. Uh, let's put up some materials here real quick. Uh, craft us some crude rope. Alright, so we need uh, two more gnat fuzz. There are some gnats right over here. Around this water. After a period of time, that thing will drop. Just like that. I overshot big time. That's going to be way over there. That gave me my two night fuzz. Now, let's see. I shot... That way, was it? Let's go see if we can find our damn spear. I think my inventory's full. Yeah. Let's make this first, and then go find it. probably should have set up a waypoint over in the direction I thought it was right after I threw it. Because you got to be fairly close before the icon shows up. There's no telling how far I launched it. But like I said, it's not that big a deal. Oh, there it is. It's not that big a deal if you lose a spear. All right, so ah, we... Here comes another homing gnat. Uh, shut up, Pete. So we got all of that taken care of. We can uh, get all three of our uh, quests done. We can pick up more. Now, the first time you interact with this in a day, it will generate available quests for the slots you have available which is why I did not interact with the ASL before I completed all three of them, so I would have the option to get three more. So complete a trail marker at Plank Cliff. Uh, this is the Explorer missions I was talking about. Plank Cliff is but one of many lost sites in the land. Legend says only ghosts of trail markers left behind by doomed explorers remain. Raise the bones of these structures to reveal them to the realm. Uh, we got one for the Great Oak Beacon. And a hunter for Red Soldier Ants. I do not want to hunt ants, so I'm going to reject this one. It will not generate a new one until tomorrow. But I am not going to be hunting ants. And I also forgot... I need to make a shield. I need two more crude rope. Alright, so now we have a weevil shield. I'll go ahead and equip that. Now these things are pretty easy to repair. You just need like one weevil meat. Uh, speaking of meat, all of this tadpole meat is a, probably going to be spoiled before I get back. So let's go ahead and cook it up. More food. We're going to need the healing soon anyway. It's almost look like marshmallows. How white and puffy it looks. So we have unlocked cooked tadpole meat. Cook slab of tadpole meat bursting with savory juices. Quite a snack. And the grub roast. Roasted and delicious meat of a grub slows and restores a large amount of hunger. All right, so now let's head back to our base, or where our base is going to be. 
Um, I've got clovers. I need sprigs and plant fiber, it appears. Let's go up over here. Now, when you get close enough to one of these beacons, you'll see the hammer icon to let you know where it is. But other than that, you've got to explore to find it. Unless you, like, look up the locations or something. But this one, since this is where I build my base, was pretty easy for me to notice. And we are actually going to give this the base icon. So now we don't really need this trail marker, I can move it somewhere more useful later. I don't, uh, as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and, whoops, let's go ahead and fall. Let's go ahead and get rid of the image on it. Because so I'm going to build a base right here, and I like to build my base right underneath this light to catch the gnats, just all around that. And I use a lot of the nearby routes as my access up to my base and ways to traverse from this base over to the entrance to the Oak Lab. And I like this as a base location because the gnats are plentiful food. That's free light. And this is right above the spiders. And during the day, uh, I have access to the acorns, to sap, um, to grubs. This is pretty much a good general area. It's not too far to get to like dandelions and clover and grass. And I can build a walkway all the way around to easily get to the Oak Lab. Um, and the Oak Lab is a place I will be returning to regularly during the game to turn in chips to burgle and other things. But now that we have a gas mask uh, and, and a shield, there are two things I want to do. First, I have inventory space. I have one more item left to scan. So I want to, do I have, I have the materials. I want to locate this lab over here. Now this lab over here, Taking a look. there it is right there. It, uh, there are spiders that patrol around here, or weavers. So this is kind of a dangerous lab to use if you haven't cleared out the orb weaver. You one for the beast, Jerry. Um, they will uh, aggro on you while you are in that lab, and they can kill you while you are in that lab. That is a big spider. I don't think I'm high enough level to take on such a foe. Come on, boy. Now they have specific attack patterns. This is a lunge. And they have a three hit combo like that with the third hit delayed and then two single attacks like that one from the right one from the left now the biggest threat with spiders is fighting them the noise they make will attract other spiders So you should like to pull them away from areas where other spiders might join in. I don't want to pull too back too close to the oak tree or the wolf spiders will wake up and join in. So one of some of his damage got through my block. All right. So spiders aren't that difficult, actually. They're just annoying. More than anything else, it's best if you get up in their face, where they can't uh, stay back and keep shooting webs. Now, 
didn't I end up with like some clover that got butchered? I don't see the clover lying on the ground anywhere. Is it already faded? Does the fight take that long? Now there's one other spider that may come through. It's a itty bitty one I'm not worried about. They're a lot easier to fight. But it's a bad to fight the two at the same time, so I like to pull that other one back some. No new recipes for that, but we did get a brain power unlock, which should give us the gill tube. That's the only thing we hadn't already unlocked. Gastro goo and the gas arrow. Spider armor and the orb weaver head mount. There's the little Taking one. Look. Now, if we go back to the data, the orb weaver is resistant to stabbing. Bright yellow and black arachnids that hunt in the areas across the yard can drop spider chunk and web fiber on death. This orb weaver junior, where are you? Spicy. Uh, it's also resistant to stabbing. Nimble, aggressive, juvenile arachnids that inhabit the hedge close to mommy can drop spider chunk and web fiber on death. These ones are poisonous, while these are not. Uh, the diving bell spider is weak to slashing and resistant to stabbing. Swimming arachnid that weaves silk bubble air pockets beneath the surface of the pond can drop diving bell spider chunk and web fiber. The wolf spider is weak to chopping and slashing and resistant to stabbing. Ferocious hunter that prowls mostly the central and westward zones of the yard can drop spider chunk, spider fang, and spider venom on death. Now we also got um, a harmless subterranean bug that needs to be unearthed with a shovel, drops grub sludge, grub hide, and raw grub meat on death. The tadpole, docile creature that swims in the shallows of the koi pond, drops raw tadpole meat. And the water boatman, gentle bug that swims gracefully in the koi pond, drops water boatman fin on death. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that Orb Weaver Jr. alone right now. Oh, I do need to set up a trail marker here. I'm going to set it up right there. as a lab. Now it'll take a few days for this orb weaver to respawn here. Um, I like waiting till I get a shield to fight uh, the spiders because it makes it a little bit more forgiving on the blocks especially with the increased blocking strength um, and it makes it a little bit easier to uh, make sure practice your timing to get the perfect uh, block. That's about to spoil. Alright, I just need the Plank Cliff Marker. Now the Plank Cliff is that one, I believe. Now, here's a bug I, I can show you. You saw me set a waypoint and nothing's shown up. And you see... This right here is the waypoint that should be up here. All of my waypoints are shifted down. Whenever you get a bug like this where your display is not showing right, all you need to do is save and reload the game. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to save. And now I'm going to... Uh, it didn't save, sorry. I'm going to save. There we go. And reload. And now when I go to map... All of my uh, icons should be fixed. This is a bug that I have noticed if I've been playing the game for a couple of hours. This tends to happen. And I have to uh, just keep saving and reloading the game to fix it. I don't know if it's specific to my machine or if anybody else experiences this. But so be it. Yeah, see now the icons are all set up right. And my waypoint marker is there. Because this... 
looks like a box or a board, so it's a good idea to think that's the plank. We'll see when we get there. And we got a good vision from here, so let's take a look. Take a look. Can't see anything. Uh, let's get up on the light. Nope, looks like that's going to be in the way of me spotting it. Oh well, let's just head that way. We've got enough time to get set up, uh, I mean get over in that area at least. And I can always swing over here to sleep if I need to. Uh, quick, do I need, yeah I need to drop some things. I need to drop some things off. I'll just do it over here. Because it is about 5 o'clock, and I like to sleep at 8, so i got about 3 hours, which would take about 6 minutes. And we can grab some punch along the way. I don't have any snack food, uh, acorns and the like. Well, I'll be passing by some mushrooms. I can top off my hunger there. Although I have some food that's about to spoil, so I probably should have just eaten it. Go get a man. Alright, let's drop some stuff off here. Stuff I shouldn't have been carrying around anyway. That is now full. All right, that'll work. Firefly, where? Firefly, nature's lantern. There you are. Mark that one off the list. Weak to stabbing. Uh, hovers and grazes near the flooded zone at night. Sleeps in the fire bed during the day. Can drop glow glue and iridescent scale on death. I really wish there was a way to get their parts reliably without having to hunt them, I don't really like having to kill fireflies. They are also social. Uh, if one of them fights you and gets the glow goo on you, it's going to make all the others hostile in the vicinity. Uh, I lost my waypoint. There it is. We're going through mite territory over here. That's a plank. I spy. Did I just see? Yes, I did. There's a field station over there. And a chop can. So we've activated that field station. Let me check this chop can real quick. Yes, this is one you can build inside. So I am going to put up a waypoint marker right here. Or trail marker. I'm going to use the color for the science station, but uh, resting spot. Because this is where I'm going to set I up. Can go inside this can. This is where I'm going to set up a little outpost. Now you can't build on the can itself, but you can build wherever dirt sticks through. So we'll put that there. Um, cans are fairly safe. Uh, the big spiders can't get into them. I need more clover leaves, more peblets. We're gonna need a basket.
And another thing I like to do at cans or areas where I have the uh, base a little recessed is set up lights outside as well as inside so they're a little bit easier to see. I need sap for these. There's a big ass spider. Um, I need more peblets. What did I need for the bed? More clover. It's usually clover near water. There's a clover. Come to think of it, I don't think I've collected and scanned clay yet either. Where's the other one? There it is. Let's go ahead and grab some clay. Each clay will drop six. It only stacks to ten starting out, so I'm only going to break one just so I can um, scan it in the resource thing. in our little base here. the Plank Hill beacon uh, before we call this an episode. Alright, had that damn map bug again. At least it uh, auto-saves every time you sleep. Let us go ahead and put together this storage basket and stash a few goodies in here. Uh, a little chewy, but not bad. We're going to have to go hunting for a drop. There's a few over there. It's still dark enough outside there could be wolf spiders. So we gotta listen for them. Taking a look. That's an orb weaver. I've thought about this in circles for days now, and I've come to a decision. It's time to restart spacer development. Almanet may not believe in it, but I know its potential. Though I must figure out how to return shrunk objects to their original size. The first step will be to address the particle transcription errors. It seems almost certain that the irregularities are responsible for the failure during the demonstration. Burgle, please bring up all the lab data about the unknown particles. Happy to be of service. Notes will be prepared and delivered to your table in four hours or less. Four hours? What are the chances for less? Delivery estimate will be prepared in two hours or less. An auspicious beginning. So the gas arrows is an arrow dipped in the stink juices of a stink bug's gas sack. Creates a noxious gas zone where it lands. Uh, this will aggro all sorts of mobs in that area, so be careful where you shoot them. But they're really good for like clearing out clusters of small weak creatures. 
The repair tool is a small tool used for repairing damaged structures. Totally useless as a weapon, though. Uh, the spider armor is intimidating headgear piece uh, together from various spider parts. Perfect for out on the field or hunting insects for sport. Gives you hasty regen. It's tier 2 medium armor. The gill tube is a mouthpiece formed out of eelgrass strands and other hydrophobic materials. Creates a thin air pocket that allows for longer underwater breathing. The spider shoulder guards, fashioned from the hairy rump of an orb weaver, perfect for out in the field. Yeah, yeah. The knee pads are shiny and strong knee pads made from various spider pieces. Uh, the gastro goo smells almost as bad as it looks, but goes down surprisingly smooth, makes you immune to gas damage. The clay foundation is a solid level foundation upon which to build, and the clay ramp is a slope variant of it. Now this is really good for giving yourself a nice flat area to build on, uh, evening out terrain. Uh, the weapon wall mount, retire an old weapon or show off a cool one by hanging it on a wall. And the armor dummy, outfit this fake boy with any combination of clothes. The orb weaver head mount, wall mounted head of a hard earned kill. And we got the spider chunk, super durable but ambiguous hunk of a spider, spider fang, delicate but razor sharp fang of a wolf spider, handling it sends a chill down your tiny spine, fungal growth, incredibly unstable chunk of fungus, and that's it. Now that's six out of ten of the spacer development. And we actually got the field station, one of the field stations in the pond. There's only nine locations in the pond. We're halfway through the grasslands now with the um, armed raspberry puncho, lemon crime puncho, two more of the field stations, and the chop can that I'm in right now. That orb weaver's over there. Make sure I have enough materials. I'm going to need a little bit more plant fiber to build this beacon up top. Now this place is right above a spider cave. And there are little spiderlings. There they are. These guys are annoying. Um, angry little baby spider found wherever adults roam drops web fiber on death. Now, these guys tend to group. There's one spiderling. There's bound to be more of them. And you'll get a whole bunch on you. They're fairly weak. They're not that big of a problem. But fighting them will annoy other spiders in the vicinity. Just saw that wolf spider go crawling under there. I start fighting these guys. That wolf spider is going to come out and investigate as I'm killing them. So it's a good idea to pull them away from here. Yeah, I got threat detected. Let me just back up some. Now, if you're just fighting one, it's not that big of a problem. Uh, you can just go toe-to-toe -to -toe with it. Your axe will generally interrupt its attack routines. It's when you get multiples on you that it becomes a bit more of an issue. Yeah, even the pebble axe will handle them fairly well. If you can keep them separated. Alright, let's get up on here before we get more attention. The nails require a tier 3 uh, hammer, and the splinters require a tier 3 axe. Alright, I'm just going to use the flag on this. Now if we bring up... Oh, I got that bug again. Alright, let me save. Now this is an annoying bug. Because I had just reloaded, honestly. Um, if we look at the map now... Yeah, that's just called a flag marker, basically. I use that for most of the waypoints. So now that we've done all the quests... The 
great adventure strode forth, approaching the mouth of the foreboding cave. Horrors waiting within. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna head over here and pick up some new quests and see what we get. Two spiders right there. Three spiders. Make that. Yeah, now that I've got multiple tools... It's not dropping. Crap. Alright. Uh, see if we can jump up to it. Nice and clean. Yeah, there we go. Now I've got multiple tools, so I can show you what I mean about this toggling. Right now I've got the rock. As soon as I put it up, I've got the axe in, in its place. But if you have something like this, where you have five of something, or more than one stack of rocks, it won't switch that location. Hey, Alright, so we have three quests available. Uh, create a clover hood, create a weevil shield, and grave robbery, chip sleuth. This is the uh, um, auxiliary chips. And then hill to the west is where you start this quest. Straight through a rooted room gets you closer to the tomb. Past a tunnel of red, rest a soul that is dead. Down the hole lies your goal. So it gives you a little hint as to where to go, and it's worth quite a bit. Uh, we'll get that one eventually. I still don't have enough for the Peblet Foundation of the Fortified Bases, but we are going to call this an episode now that I have completed all of those quests. So thank you all for watching. And hopefully, we'll see you next time.